the state of Georgia is seeing more and more cases where officers fire their guns at suspects. The GBI says they handle all cases where an officer shoots a gun and hurts or kills someone. Tonight, James Torres looked at the data from the last few years. James, is there an explanation for the increase? Well, Josh, can we know that the numbers have doubled from 2016 to 2017, and we're on track to see more of those cases this year. The director of the GBI says that there are some factors, several different factors that can contribute to an increase like that, but it's tough to say what exactly is causing us to see so many of these cases. GBI Director Vernon Keenan says his agency is on track to see another year of increased police shootings. We've been averaging nearly two cases per week. According to the GBI, agents have been called to investigate 60 cases so far this year. In 2017, they investigated 88 cases total. That's more than double in 2016 when they only picked up 43 cases. While each case is different, Director Keenan points to one primary factor. We see a marked increase in persons who do not obey commands from law enforcement. We saw this in Dalton after a police chase last week. Officers say Parrish Smalley surrendered to officers. Investigators say a second suspect, Clinique Jackson, disobeyed commands and pointed a gun at officers, prompting them to shoot. And I saw the police kind of surround her. I saw her go down. The circumstances of this case are still under investigation. The motivation for allegedly disobeying orders is unclear, and not all cases fit that mold. The GBI's first police shooting case of the year came on New Year's Day in Walker County. Deputies responded to a 911 call that investigators later said was fake. Not knowing why his dogs were barking early in the morning, Mark Parkinson grabbed his gun and walked toward the kitchen. Moments later, a deputy shot and killed him through the window. That case also still under investigation. The vast majority of the officer use of force cases, the officers are legally justified in the use of force, but there are instances where the use of force is not justified. Keenan maintains there is no single reason for an increase in these cases, but when asked how to bring the numbers down, he didn't hesitate on his answer. Obey a lawful command from a law enforcement officer. And again, still no explanation as to why someone would disobey police orders. The cases both that we mentioned in our story, both in Dalton and in Walker County, are still under investigation. And according to GBI's Twitter, the agency responded to three of those cases last week, including that one in Dalton. Right now, we're live in our master control room. I'm James Torres, News Channel 9. James Torres, thank you. Director Keenan says the response to so many police shootings prevents the agency from investigating other cases in a timely manner. He said as any case that is not an officer involved shooting will not be investigated for at least a 